Timothy Treadwell was born on the 29th of April 1957 and died on the 5th of October 2003. He was known as the Grizzly Man and above all else was a bear enthusiast. His love for the creatures led him to his passion for environmentalism and documentary filmmaking. He was a self-taught expert and he believed he could go beyond the bear's essential nature as predators and that his knowledge and understanding of them would keep him safe. The 46-year-old lived amongst the grizzly bears of Katmai National Park in Alaska for 13 summers. At the end of his 13th summer in the park, in 2003, he and his 37-year-old girlfriend Amy Huguenard were killed and almost fully eaten by a 28-year-old bear, whose stomach was later found to contain human remains and clothing. Treadwell's life, work and death were the subject of Werner Herzog's critically acclaimed documentary film Grizzly Man in 2005. In October 2003, the Malibu couple revisited the remote corner of the Four Million Acre Park along the Alaskan Peninsula. In Grizzly Man, Herzog stated that according to Treadwell's diaries, Huguenard feared bears and felt deeply uncomfortable in their presence. Her final journal entries indicated that she wanted to be away from Katmai. Treadwell chose to set his campsite near a salmon stream where grizzlies commonly feed in autumn. Treadwell was in the park at a time where bears attempt to gain as much fat as possible before winter. Food was scarce that fall, causing grizzly bears to be even more aggressive than usual. Treadwell was to leave the park at his usual time of year, but extended his stay a week in an attempt to locate a favourite female brown bear. He said he hated modern civilization and felt better in nature with the bears than he did in the big cities around humans. The bears he had been used to during the summer had already gone into hibernation, and the bears that Treadwell didn't know from the other parts of the park were moving into the area. Some of the last footage taken by Treadwell, hours before his death, includes a video of a bear diving into the river repeatedly for a piece of dead salmon. Treadwell mentioned in the footage that he didn't feel entirely comfortable around that particular bear. Treadwell may have filmed the very bear that killed him. Around noon on Sunday, October the 5th, 2003, Treadwell spoke with an associate in Malibu, California by satellite phone. Treadwell mentioned there was no problems with any bears. The next day, on the 6th of October, Willie Fulton, a Kodiak Air taxi pilot, arrived at Treadwell and Huguenard's campsite to pick them up, but found the area was abandoned, except for a bear, and contacted the local park rangers. The couple's mangled remains were discovered quickly upon investigation. Treadwell's disfigured head, partial spine, and right forearm and hand, with his wristwatch still on, were recovered a short distance from the camp. Huguenard's partial remains were found next to the torn and collapsed tents, partially buried in a mound of twigs and dirt. A large male grizzly, tagged Bear 141, protecting the campsite was killed by park rangers during their attempt to retrieve the bodies. A second adolescent bear was also killed a short time later when it charged the park rangers. An on-site autopsy of Bear 141 revealed human body parts such as fingers and limbs. A handheld video camera, which was used to record encounters with bears weighing as much as 1,000 pounds, was recovered at the site that proved to be operating during the attack the police said that the tape contained only voices and cries as a brown bear mauled Treadwell to death. Because the tape only contained audio, it's led many to believe that the attack might have happened while the camera was stuffed in a duffel bag or during the dark of the night. Filmmaker Herzog claims that the lens cap of the camera was left on, suggesting they were setting up the process for another video sequence when the attack occurred. The camera had been turned on just before the attack, presumably by sound activation but the camera recorded only six minutes of the audio before running out of tape. The tape begins with Treadwell yelling that he's been attacked. Come out here, I'm being killed out here, he screams. Huguenard repeatedly tells Treadwell to play dead. That strategy is commonly used to pacify angry bears when they attack. But when that strategy didn't work, she urged him to fight back. Treadwell, who never carries weapons, is heard yelling frantically to Huguenard to get a frying pan to hit the bear with. Dragging sounds and the fading of Timothy's cries seem to indicate he's been pulled off into the brush, his fate now sealed. It's theorised that the high-pitched shrieks from Huguenard may have prompted the bear to return and kill her. After all, what she'd seen would have been enough to break anyone. It is easy to picture her hysterical and paralysed with fear outside of the tent until the bear returned. Local natives have said that to be killed by a bear is one of the worst possible ways to go. Bears don't kill people quickly. They are too powerful to be concerned about us getting away. They are also incredibly quick. They can run up to 35 miles per hour. Once you're caught, 
they simply pin you down, like a cat with a mouse, and start to eat. They favour the soft tissues around your lower legs and buttocks, which they rip at with gusto. They're oblivious to your screams. 